As new bombings claimed dozens more victims in Baghdad and elsewhere, a top Senate Democrat scoffed at President Bush's claim his Iraq troop surge is starting to work. The White House transcript says the president made those remarks in the state of Michigan. I believe he made them in the state of denial. But the White House fired back, saying Democrats are in denial if they think America should set a timeline for pulling out. They are deluding themselves if they think that offering a surrender date is, a, is in the long-term strategic interests of this country. The president summoned his top commander, General David Petraeus, home from Baghdad to make his point to lawmakers. A artificial timetable of withdrawal would say to an enemy, just wait him out. It would say to the Iraqis, uh, don't do hard things necessary to achieve our objectives, and it would be discouraging for our troops. But Congress is defying a veto threat from Bush and is poised to send him a funding bill with just such a timetable. A measure melding House and Senate versions would mandate U.S. combat troops start leaving October 1st and set a non-binding goal of having them all out in six months. However, Democrats don't have the votes to override a Bush veto, so they're casting about for options on what happens after. Options including a two-month money bill that would force Congress to revisit the issue this summer. So the stage is set for the next act in the Iraq drama, the spending bill's arrival here and the president's veto of it because of the strings attached. Beyond that, however, there is no script, since congressional Democrats are still debating how their narrative will read. Mark Smith, the Associated Press, the White House.